Hey, I'm Sean with Real Fly Rod. Along with me is Greg. Today we're going to talk about the Eagle X outfit that we uh, actually got a chance to go out and fish this last weekend. And Introduced it last week, not knowing that much about it, quite very honestly. Very true for our 100 subscribers. So what did we do? We, we took it out and fished it. had to take it out and fish it because, honestly, I didn't know anything about the it. Rod. The rod. Because we've got how many pieces in this package? This is you've a got rod, piece. you've got, well, you've got rod, you've got reel, you've got line. And a reel case. And a real case at one seventy nine ninety five. Is that correct? One sixty nine. One sixty nine. So one hundred seventy bucks. All yeah. right. The rod itself, quality. I mean, it's a hundred and seventy dollars. So, what kind of quality are we dealing with here? The rod, as I understand it, what's cool about a major manufacturer like Fenwick is they have constantly upgraded their technology. And the way I understand it, this rod, probably three years ago, would have been Fenwick's top-line graphite rod. Well, advancements have been made, and now we're able to get that kind of technology at an entry-level price of 170 bucks, wow. right? Absolutely. All right. What about the reel? This, this is interesting to me, the reel itself. Is, what's it made of, and what are, what, what, what's good about that? It's die-cast aluminum, so mostly of your... Uh, Competition will have that composite plastic. In that it, price range? In that price range. It, it just doesn't feel the way that this does. Um, I actually had a pretty good sized trout on this one. Uh, oh, over there the you weekend. go to bragging, but go ahead. And, uh, <laughs> and it really just stood up. It was, it was insane for being an entry level outfit. What I like about this is that you're going to spend $170. It's going to be probably your first rod and reel. Um, and you get something that's going to last a long, long time. True. All right composite plastic as compared to die cast aluminum die cast aluminum reels were made back in the early 1900s and people are still fishing with them now Beautiful. am i correct in that it's a fluger reel it is absolutely a fluger and that's reel. a that's a name that i believe people out there probably recognize so it is quality from top to bottom even the cork the cork has got a fancy name to it. Uh, uh, I think it's called floral grade cork. Floral and basically grade. what it is, is it's not going to break down as it gets wet. True. Because it's going to get wet if you're catching any fish. Okay? So, okay. So really you've got that. Now tell me though, line. The line, the line's not bad because this is an entry level, you know, outfit. Right. Um, it would, it'll probably last you two or three seasons, but you're going to want to upgrade the next line, I think, that someone would put on this, based on us casting it and how it performed with that line, I went so far as I snuck another reel on it with a different line on it. And quite honestly, if you want to spend $130 for fly line, True. you can put it on here. Absolutely. So I, I look at it as a tremendous value for $170. Um, that's pretty much, to me, what you've got there is high-grade graphite, High grade reel, good quality line, good quality cork, and by the way, you get the case also, which <laughs> which is a deal unto itself. And it comes rigged up, ready to go, with a leader already on it, just like we always do. Most well, of now, now talk to me, okay? Because those are the specs. Those are the specs. Those are the specs. Not real detailed, but that's about as detailed as you need to be. Absolutely. My question is, all right, casting it. Be honest with me, all right? We started off on Saturday. And we started throwing streamers. It was yes. very cool in the morning, and Absolutely. we wanted to get them moving a little bit, and we started throwing streamers. And we were using the five-weight. How would you like it as far as casting streamers? And, and you know, there's no shame in saying that you're just getting into your fly fishing experience Absolutely. and your fly I'm, casting. I'm only so about two years for ahead. you, you're exactly the person that would purchase that, this. That. So throwing streamers, how, how, how did it work for you as far as throwing streamers? Throwing streamers, it was unrivaled compared to other ones of this price point. Okay. It was absolutely unreal. Now, I prefer to be a gentleman and dry fly fish. Okay. But, understandably, this, this might not be the rod for that. Well, it's, you know what I found when I was casting it is I tried it and you know me, I like to go small and dry if I can. Exactly. So, of course, I tied on some size 18 and threw it out there to see. And I'm not a tremendous caster, but I struggled a little bit as far as presenting in a nice delicate manner with a five weight and with a little size 18 and 20 flies, not the rod that I would have said, this is what I need for doing yep. this. As soon as I went to tying on size 14 and larger dry flies, performed great. Perfect. All right. And I don't know how many circumstances, especially, I don't want to say a beginner, 
but someone that's just wanting to start their adventure in fly fishing, yeah. this will last for their entire adventure. And really, in southwest Ohio, what do you, I mean, you guys have sold a lot of rods. Absolutely. What's the most popular size and weight? If someone walked in the door and said, I need one rod, I'm only going to buy one rod and I want to fish in for bass. Yep. I want to fish for trout. trout. I want to fish for bluegill. Smallmouth. Smallmouth. What nine else? foot five. Nine foot five. Nine foot five and nine foot six is perfect for here in Southwest Ohio. Okay. And for, I would say, a lot of intermediate people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's easier to cast and it's easier to hold and maintain when you're on the river. I use this type of rod right here, rod and reel, when I'm guiding and I have clients that don't own their own product and you have to honestly introduce them to fly casting. There's no handicap at all teaching someone how to fly cast using this rod and reel. Okay. True. Absolutely. I like oh. it. All right. Yeah. Um, I personally had a lot of fun with it. I got a question for durability. Uh -huh. I, under, I understand that <laughs> even on a long cast that may find a tree on the other side Absolutely. of the Absolutely. Um, if there is a tree or a bush or, God forbid, a person within 30 feet of me, I, uh, I unfortunately will hook them. Well, But after having get them hooked up... Uh, no breaks, no snaps, anything on me. Until you picked up the fact that you have to pull on the line and not use your rod to That's, snap it out of there. Yes. You, the rod even held up sometimes during your not so appropriate unsnagging. I, I would tell you yeah. that. Well, you know, you can only get t snagged in the 30th tree before well, you start getting a little and aggravated. And all jokes aside, durability is what stands out to me. And it's about key it. for a beginner, absolutely. Yeah, I, and I, I really. That's what this, this outfit has. I really. I mean, I compare it because after fly fishing for my lifetime, I have acquired some high-end equipment. Okay. So I always compare anything that I cast for the first time to some of my favorite rods and reels. And the only drawback that I found with this was exactly what I was talking about, is when it went to presenting those very delicate, almost minutia kind of flies, I wouldn't recommend it. True. But I, I think in 95% of your fishing conditions as far as southwest Ohio and 95% of the species you're after, this is where I would start. This is the way to this go. This is where I'd start. And I look, like it. This is where I would start. And again. And, well, and I say start, guess what? You're going to be fishing this in 15 years from now, too. True. Okay. Ex absolutely. And at $170... And 15 years from now, this isn't going to be the only rod in your arsenal, I can assure you. <laughs> this will get you hooked, absolutely. And we are so close to giving one of these away here on our YouTube channel. How's that work again? You have to go and subscribe to us. Okay. You have to like that last video. Okay. And that was from last week. From last week, absolutely. Right. But you also had to like this one because I believe in my heart of hearts that I am much better looking <laughs> than Tim, <laughs> Seth, or Ryan. And I believe you agree. <laughs> And we can give one of these away within the next couple of weeks for sure. So again, subscribe to the channel. All right. Go like that last video. Okay. And we'll see you next time.